Hi, I'm Billy Mays. And I'm Willie Mays. And I got a question for you. Is your refrigerator running? Yes, it is. Better go catch it. Nice. Are you tired of taking your perishable goods out of your room temperature cabinet and having them be perished? Modern problems require modern solutions. Our engineers here at Beef Incorporated have been working on a solution. Have you ever wondered how a refrigerator keeps your food fresh and provides you with a refreshingly chilled beverage on a hot day? Well, let's find out. Refrigeration is quite simple. To understand the principles behind it, just remember that when a liquid absorbs heat, it evaporates, such as when the sun heats up a body of water, which causes clouds to form in the sky. A simple example is when your hand is wet and it feels cold. This is the process of heat being transferred from your skin to the water, causing the water to evaporate. This is a similar process to how a fridge will cool its inner compartment. To pull off this frosty feat, a refrigerator uses five major components. An expansion device, evaporator coils, a compressor, condenser coils, and a refrigerant. The refrigerant is a fluid with a low boiling point that runs through the system carrying energy from the inside of the unit to the exterior. As it passes through an expansion device, which is typically a valve, the fluid expands and cools. As refrigerant passes through the evaporator coil, energy is transferred from the food inside to the liquid, causing it to evaporate. The liquid then moves through the compressor, increasing the pressure of the gas. At the higher pressure, the boiling point drops and the gas returns to the liquid phase, transferring the energy from the food to the atmosphere. The cycle then repeats itself until the temperature of the food and the internal compartment are at steady state. The refrigerant passes through the expansion device before boiling in order to lower its pressure and thus its boiling point. The relationship between pressure and the boiling point of a liquid can be modeled using Antoine's equation. An example calculation can be seen here showing the boiling point of water at the summit and base of Mount Everest. At the high elevation of the peak, the pressure is much lower than that at the base, a measly 0.33 atmospheres compared to the sea level pressure of one atmosphere. This results in the boiling point of water being much lower at the summit, just 72 degrees Celsius compared to the boiling point at sea level, 100 degrees Celsius.